today we're just at the top side of Ilkley at the Cowing Calf Rocks. As you can see, you've got a little cafe there and a free car park. We'll just keep panning round until we show you the rocks. And we're going to walk up into the centre of there, head towards Bart's Crag, follow the Millennium Way towards Horncliffe Well, and then head back towards the Cow and Calf. So we're just following the path up to the rocks now. We've made our way up to the top. It looks as if this piece has been quarried. We're in Wharfdale. We're still on the top of the Cow and Calf Rocks. Just above Ilkley, Ilkley's down below. This is a new walk on us, so you'll have to bear with us. Let's see what we can find. So we're going to make our way down off the top. You know, only about 10 feet, just, just onto level going. Turn left at the side of the big hole or quarry. And we're heading towards Barks Crag. We have a quick look to our left through the gap and you can see the little cafe down below in the car park. So we head forward across the top now, pub on your left hand side. You'll come to a crossroad of paths, just keep heading forward. We've got the Cow and Calf pub and hotel. We're about 200 yards from the road, just opposite the Cow and Calf. We bear off right, slightly uphill and then as we slowly make our way uphill. We looked at left, we've got two horses and a grouse. He's only about 30 foot away. There's the road look. And he's just looking, no, she's just looking straight at us. Well, we'll leave him for now. As you walk along, just up above you on your right, you'll see this strange stone on the skyline. We've made our way up to the top. It's only a steady climb. We're walking along the edge now. Let's just pan round to the left. You can see where we are, look. As you walk along, you pass an old quarry on your left-hand side. We're just at the end of February, so on the edge, the wind chill's pretty keen. But we've got a fair few grouse flying around and the sun's coming out, so I think we're in for a good day. As we walk along, following the wall, We've got three or four red kites on the left hand side, so we're going to see if we can get a shot of one or two of them. Well, we're still trying to film the red kites, but uh, we aren't having a lot of luck at the moment. We'll keep trying. You're walking with a taxi driver today. Well, I just logged onto a kite there and he dropped over the other side of the hill. <laughs> we'll keep trying. We are. We've got him. It's a long way away, but uh, there's your red kite. There's four or five round here. We're just looking back on ourselves now. We've just made our way to the end of the wall. And this is where all the kites keep coming up on the hill, on the, on the air currents. We'll just give you a quick shot down below. And then if we look straight ahead, we can see we've a farmhouse or buildings in the distance, but we're looking for a right hand turn now. Head forward past the end of the wall, a couple hundred yards, and then you'll come to a, a big dip. And as you can see, the paths are coming up there. We turn right and follow the path with the little stream in the bottom of the gully. 
across Burley Moor and we're heading towards Horncliffe Well. So we're just heading up the left hand side of the little stream. Quite nice it is as well with the waterfall. We've crossed over to the right now, slowly heading up the gully. You'll come to a holly tree. A couple hundred feet past there, the path goes up the left hand side and then immediate right and keep following the gully. We'll be back to you. We've just crossed the stream now, making our way uphill before we turn right. We just thought we'd give you a quick shot of the countryside. So we turn right, we're heading uphill now. You can see the little path on your left, gully and little stream in the bottom. As we look at the other side of the little stream or gully, we can see we've got a few walkers here, look. And we've got grouse butts just at the back. Six, seven, eight. There we are. And just where them walkers are, we've disturbed a grouse. So let's have a quick look. There he is. He's flew over to our side. Well, we'll leave him for now, I think. We just keep heading forward, still slightly going uphill. See a couple of rocks on the skyline there, look. We pass through a line of grouse butts, still making our way slightly uphill towards Horncliffe Well. The grouse butts are on our right hand side. We just keep walking forward till we see a little wooden tiny bridge, cross over it, and we just keep wandering slightly to your right uphill, and you'll see some little posts there. So we're following the Millennium Way. As you make your way uphill, maybe a hundred feet past the second post, just look to your left hand side behind and you'll see a man-made pond there, look. As we get to the top, we look to our left and we can see there's a shooting hut. We cross straight over the track and walk to the left hand side of the rocks. There is a sign there. We're just at the back of the stones now, just looking. We stood on what possibly was a stone building. Looks like the base. In the distance there, look, it looks like we've got Filingdales, the golf balls. And just to the right of there, we've got some windmills. It's certainly a great place for taking a picture or two. Nice sunny day today. Bit chilly though. So you walk by the side of the stones and bear off slightly left. You'll see uh, a pond or a lake in the distance. So we, we're heading slightly left downhill in the direction of the reservoir, but we think we'll be swinging off to the right later on. We'll be back to you. As we go down the track, it's bearing off slightly right, downhill, only slightly. We look and we see there's a grouse butt, a different type to the other one that we showed you. As we walk down the path, we see we're following a line of grouse butts, and that one's still got a tiny bit of snow in. But it is the 27th of February today, and it is chilly on these tops. We just keep going. We cross over another tiny little wooden bridge. Just at the back of it, we've got a grouse butt, but just in the distance, look. We've got the gamekeeper, or gamekeepers, I can't quite see because of the sun, burning the heather off. Well, it's been pretty dry underfoot up to now, but we've just got to a boggy bit here, and you can see there, look, the water just running out of the peat into the little drainage ditch below there. But like I say, the rest of it's been a good dry walk up to now, or not too bad. We keep going. As you can see, we're just in the middle of a bit of a boggy patch here, but you know, we're slowly heading through it. Just gotta be careful where you're putting your feet. We keep going. 
We're looking for a right turn now, but just before we find it, we look to our left hand side over the road and we can see there's like a, the round edge of a reservoir there in the distance. As you walk forward, you'll see a stile on your left hand side. Walk forward another couple hundred yards and the fence is zigging and zagging there. Keep walking till you get within about 100 yards of the wall. Cross over a little stream, obviously in summer this might not be there. And it looks as if the path is at the other side. Just keep following the fence line till you come to the wall in a style. And then we'll go through the wall, turn right uphill. Before we do, we're going to pop over the fence and see what it says on this stone. There we are, it says Horncliff Well. There's been like a building at the back and we've got a stone there to the side stuck up. We'll just give you a quick view downhill before we turn right over the wall uphill. Heading towards the gate in the distance and then the Twelve Apostle Stone Circle. As you go through the wall, you more or less head straight forward. It's only a faint path, but uh, you're slowly coming away from the wall. We're going to meet the Dales Way link. Here we are, we've got the gamekeepers burning the old heather off. So there's be fresh growth in the spring for the chicks. He's just patting it down so it doesn't get out of control and they're doing little small patches so they've all just got a bit of fresh stuff next to some old stuff. Quite a good blaze there, look. Well, we'll leave that for now and just keep heading forward. And you can hear the grouse. We've left the gamekeepers and the path's quite well worn now, so it's easy to follow. And as we make our way more or less to the brow of the hill, We've got the Twelve Apostles Stone Circle there, look. We're slowly making our way to the Cow and Calf Rocks now. We head forward a couple hundred feet and then we pick up the stone path. We've come off the flagstones now, drop down into a gill up the other side couple of big cairns on your left. We're still steadily going downhill towards the cow and calf rocks but we've got a lot of height here so let's just give you a pan round towards Ilkley. We can see the river in the distance up there. On our left. Just keep heading forward another two or three hundred yards and the front drops off pretty sharp. You look to your left hand side, you've got some trees. Then we look down below, obviously this has been an old quarry there. We turn right. We're heading towards the cow and calf rocks now. We're still steadily walking across the top. You can see the long shadow in the bottom where they've been quarrying. All we have to do now is make our way around the edge, down the slope, towards a gap in the distance, down the front of there and we'll be back at the car. We hope you've enjoyed our walk from the Cow and Calf Rocks at Ilkley. You've been walking with the taxi driver today.